Hello folks and welcome. So today's video I have some extra file manager tips for you. The file manager Nemo. I'm going to be talking about keyword searches and uh, also um, some rearranging the furniture for looking at different columns on your file manager today. So welcome folks. I'm filming in 1920 by 1080. I'm not going to give you system information. This is Mint 21.1 sentiment. My video will be more than two minutes. But all my videos have timelines and chapters. Alt F4 to close. Now I'm going to open up the file manager. So the file manager for this desktop is Nemo. And I'm going to first talk about resizing icons if you've never seen my videos. So you can resize them with this little bar down here in the lower right hand corner. Or you can go to the view menu and click these three guys or use the control plus plus or control plus negative or control plus zero to resize your icons. You can also do it my way. Holding down your control key, it, my computer mouse is USB based and it has a scroll wheel on it. So I'm going to hold the control key while scrolling and it produces this effect. If you have a touchpad, try this on for size. Hold down your control key using two fingers, slide them up and down on your touchpad. All right, with that said, I am going to search for um, text inside of documents. So let's open up my documents folder and I'm going to open up this X for instance. This may be hard to see, but uh, that has the word Hummer in it. Okay, so I'm going to use Alt F4 to close that file. And I'm going to actually close the file manager down and bring it completely up from scratch. So you're, you're, you're looking for something that has the word Hummer in it. You just hit the little magnifying glass instead of search for files you click the box below it says search content h-u-m-m-e-r hummer and there is the actual file right there or excuse me the the file is located in bob's documents and it's called x and it contains that word hummer in it let me show you one completely from scratch so I am going to open up, uh, let's open up LibreOffice Writer. And I am just going to make this larger my way. And I'll just type in test, test, one, two, three, and the word bear. Okay. Now I'm going to save as. And we'll throw that in Bob's documents and we'll just call that my test. Oh, I could make that capital if you like. That doesn't really matter what the name of the file is. Uh, I could save it in ODT or I could save it in different formats. You know, I can even do Microsoft if you like. I will. How, how about if we do a doc? And uh, sure, why not? All right. So first of all, let's verify the file is in here. And it's called my test doc, doc and it has the test test one two three bear. So the keyword I'm going to use is bear. So file manager time, search feature, bear. Found it almost immediately. You can see that right there. Keyword again is bear. All right, Alt F4 to close. All right, let me resize this back and go to the home folder. Now, let me talk about um, the way you sort information. So you may have seen my other videos on Nemo the File Manager to uh, quickly get thumbnails. You click on something and hit the space bar. Here's cute kitty here, for instance, and a bigger version of kitty. Space bar to close. I can do the same thing with the PDF and also use my scroll wheel to go through the PDF in a viewer. I can also double click. This opens this in a different way with XReader and I can also view it that way. Alt F4. The text file, same thing, spacebar. That has the word test one, two, three in it. Spacebar to close. Mushroom, spacebar. Bigger size. Spacebar to close. We can also view this way. Oh, you got extra information. Yes I do. So let me talk about this. So as we have different views you also may have noticed that I have extra columns in here under edit, under preferences, under columns. I have things turned on. I'll turn them off. I'll go to the defaults, which are these four. 
You cannot turn the last one off. That has to be here. You can't un unclick it, in other words, but these are generally on by default. I can also turn on permissions, owner. So Bob is the owner of that folder, for instance. Permissions are interesting because if it's got a dash in front of it, it's a regular file. If it's got a D in front of it, it's a directory. Another name for a directory in Linux is a folder. All right, so I can view it this way. The other thing you may not be aware of is depending on your column, you'll see arrows on the default one, but you'll see arrows as soon as you click that and you can sort that differently. Same thing with type and size. You notice the folder it takes precedence, but the file T is at the top for the smallest. This is the largest file in this list. Modified also has an arrow. Okay, This folder will remain on the top but that says September on the particular PDF here. Now that PDF is on the bottom. So again, you can turn on a bunch of these things. You can also resize these things. The other thing I'm just gonna briefly make mention of is your tools, your toolbar itself. Let me change this view to this view here and let me toggle on this one right here. That's this one right here. Normally, show thumbnails has no keyboard equivalent. Some of these other commands have keyboard equivalent, like show hidden files, for instance, is always going to be Control H. And it is with the most file managers, actually. But uh, show thumbnails has no keyboard equivalent. So basically, if I don't have this tool turned on here, the only way for me to fix this problem is to go here if I don't have that tool and turn it on here because there's no keyboard equivalent. Just a minor thing. But there's plenty of room on this toolbar for adding every single tool is what I was getting at. So under your preferences toolbar, I have all of them activated. Every single tool is on currently may not need them all, but I'm just saying they're all active. Like the create a folder, you normally can just create, uh, right click on the blank space and create yourself a new folder. All right, folks, I think I'm done. So Alt F4 to close. I have plenty of other videos, including more videos on this file manager and more importantly, thank you for watching.